Nate, come on. Give me a hand with this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sully. I think that's Sam's tower. Sub gamers, my name is I Reply and welcome to the second episode of I Know Reply. Presents you the greatest upcoming games in 2016. Uh -huh. These intros are getting worse, huh? <laughs> anyway, this time it's all about a game called Uncharted 4. You probably never heard of it, neither did I, but a couple of days ago there was a friend who told me Yeah dude, you need to make a preview about Uncharted 4 and I was like Holy shit, definitely! What's this game called? No, well, just kidding. Uncharted 4. At this point, gamers have really big expectations. Well, huge expectations. The first three Uncharted games were an absolute blast and they made a benchmark in the field of adventure games. Great stories, funny and diverse characters, never seen before graphics, amazing gameplay. I remember the first Uncharted and everyone was like, holy crap, can you believe these graphics? I've never imagined that a video game could look that good. But yeah, the developer Naughty Dog did something incredible and now finally it's time for long awaited Uncharted 4. Of course you play as the famous fortune hunter Nathan Drake again and you probably need to know a few things about Nathan Drake. Good to see you again, Nathan. Nathan is married meanwhile. I'm married. He is sometimes kind of a jerk. Asshole. And he's always down for an adventure. I'm in a lot of trouble here. I mean, look at his eyes when his brother said, I'm in a lot of trouble here. The story is set three years after the events of Uncharted 3 and Drake is now retired and tries to settle into a normal life. Yeah. But his world is once again turned upside down when his older brother Sam Sam! Oh, alright, 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 take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> long believed to be dead, suddenly reappears to seek for Drake's help. And according to Wikipedia, Together they embark on a globe-trotting journey in pursuit of a conspiracy behind Libertalia, a long-lost pirate colony, and its fabled pool pirate treasure. Nathan Drake and his greatest adventure will test his physical limits, his resolve and ultimately what he's willing to sacrifice to save the ones he loves. I made a promise that I was done with this life. Sounds good so far. The game itself of course has some several new features, well at least one new feature which is a player controlled dialogue option as you see in The Witcher or other several RPGs. Okay, um... I found the coffin. That's actually pretty cool because this makes the game worth playing twice or more for those who just can't get enough of Nathan and his adventure. There's gotta be another way. But the gameplay looks once again pretty amazing and it seems that the developer Naughty Dog refined and improved it to the limit. Fighting, shooting, climbing, everything looks smooth. The graphics are maximized and you see an incredible amount of details and little animations that make you wow. Well, not like a dog, but you know, enough to just stand still and watch the landscape or whatever the screen shows. Of course, Naughty Dog implemented the multiplayer again and you already had the chance to try the beta in which you saw that they listened to the feedback and seemingly created the perfect Uncharted multiplayer experience. In case this sounds too commercial, I have to say, Fuck you Naughty Dog for delaying the game three times. Anyway, there's no doubt that Uncharted 4 is going to be another masterpiece. And if you still don't have a PlayStation 4, go get one! Especially with this Amazon link in the description. <laughs> yeah. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End is going to be released on May 10 worldwide. Simultaneous to not forget what Naughty Dog was trying to achieve. Have fun with the game and see you then when it's time again for I Know Reply Presents. The greatest upcoming games of 2016. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here.